Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and unboxing on this E-Image tripod GA752. So it comes in this box, comes pretty well protected. It does not come with a case. So the picture on Amazon showed it with a case, but it does not come with a carrying case. It looks pretty authentic, a GA752. Maximum height. 62 inches minimum height 24.75 it's a 75 millimeter ball head so i just did a review on this manfrotto fluid head check out that video it's a 504x it seems pretty good so far and it fits this i had to buy a um a bowl adapter for it it's a, this 504x is a flat base but i bought a bowl for it so here's a link to it on Amazon, $209. They did have it in stock. So some things that drew me to this were, I wanted to really try out this one-handed uh, moving this and all that the legs extend. So it's just got one lever you push to extend the legs and, and lock the legs. I was really looking forward to that. It's kind of sturdy, um, but I'll go over all that. I've got it mount an A7 with a 200 to 600 millimeter lens. This is a really heavy lens and camera setup, and it seems to be doing just fine. So bear with me, this is really hard to review just because it's kind of big and awkward. So again, this is what I was really after was to, to, to undo that and then all, all of the legs come down at once, but then when you turn this, they all lock. That's what I was, this bottom one locks and this top one. But one thing I found I like too is it gives you an indication of when it's locked. Because sometimes it kind of like stops there, but, but it still kind of moves, even the bottom one. But you got to make sure you get this nice and straight, and then it's nice and locked. So another thing, I'm not, I don't know much about feet yet. Um, this has got like a big rubber thing, and then that's a really sharp, oh, it's got two sharp spikes. So again, I don't know much how this is going to affect what I'm going to be using it for, but those are pretty, those are really sharp. But this is a big rubber foot. That's all rubber. Look, it's hinged. And getting it on there. And then it kind of moves. It does have this adjustable slider. Let's the feet just out. Got like this ring for pulling up. So one thing I did notice is so like this. So on some cameras, this can be that comes out real easy. So be careful. It just snaps out. But this can be moved to other feet. It doesn't look like it can go down to this foot here. So it looks like you can take it out by pulling that pin. Now that's all plastic there. Okay, so I could definitely see this coming loose. Now again, this, this tripod's only 200 bucks, so I didn't expect it to be, you know, some tripods are $1,000. There are some plastic parts, there's some metal parts. Um, the legs are nice and metal. Again, there's what that foot, oh yeah, and this is what holds it when you've got it collapsed. When you've got it collapsed, it's got one thing here. This thing is like, you wrap it around. I'll have to read the manual. I'm not sure where that snaps. Maybe right there, but, or maybe you go all the way around. Yeah, probably like that. So that does hold, you know, but that is just a piece of string and that, so. And then when you want to undo it, it kind of just gets sucked back into there. Feels well made. I've just, I've just been using it a little bit, but it feels very well made. Here's what the bowl looks like. So 
So it looks pretty nice. It's big opening there. These have got nice little plastic covers on them. This is all metal. You know, these feel like they're metal. A lot of metal on here. There is plastic once in a while. So there is, I'm not sure what those are down there. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like I could repair it. It's got a Phillips head screw. So if I had to do some sort of repair, it looks like I could. You know, this looks pretty good, like metal. Again, I do see some plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. I could see where these would pop out maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to demonstrate. Again, I like being able to just, and all the feet come down and then you can lock it. And you just rotate it. So here it is, it's pretty tall. There's with the feet extended. I could move each one out individually if I had to. I don't want to. So I did notice, so even though I want to turn this, not all, sometimes the feet don't come down super smooth. Um, this one's kind of getting caught up a little bit. Okay, so I've got, I've got my Sony. This is a really heavy camera. I've got it installed. I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, I don't see, I don't feel like it's gonna tip. You know, it's pretty firm. Again, there are a lot more, more expensive. This is my first kind of really, really nice tripod with a fluid, this is my first fluid head. Um, yeah, this seems pretty stable. Again, I've got it extended all the way to the max. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. It has a nice opening here to put that on. That's what that looks like. I mean, time will tell, and I'll do some more videos after I've had this. I'm gonna be mainly uh, taking videos of airplanes, maybe some wildlife or stuff. But um, time will tell. I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money, again, 200 bucks and 400 bucks for a fluid head, so. I've got 600 bucks invested in this right now. Uh, you can spend a thousand dollars just on the tripod and another thousand dollars on the fluid head. So, so far I like it. Again, once I get out in the field, I may figure out what I need, what I don't need. But um, yeah, this looks really nice. It does come with this really nice bag. It's got an inspection sticker, 2021. User manual. And again, I may not be pointing everything out. Looks like it talks about a fluid head, but this one doesn't come with a fluid head. This is just for the tripod, so. Maybe that's just for the fluid head. That's the warranty card. Okay, so here it does talk about the tripod itself. So towards the end, it's got some tripod information. So this, this video was mainly an unboxing. Again, I'm not an expert on tripods, but I do. I am gonna start using this tripod and I will let you know in the future what I think of it. And same with this fluid head. I did an unboxing of this fluid head and once I get out in the field, I'll know more about it. So thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.